Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. We're so thankful, so appreciative, uh, so grateful for yet another opportunity to be able to come together as the people of God, as a family of God, uh, to be able uh, to talk to the God of the universe, to be able to talk to our Father. And we're thankful for that. Um, I appreciate your faithfulness and your commitment to this time and your uh, faithfulness and commitment to the things of God. It is so encouraging as a spiritual leader um, to have individuals that are serious about their spirituality and, spirit and serious about their spiritual journey and that are um, walking behind you when it comes to uh, striving for the things of God. It is so it's so encouraging. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all of the honor. For this is the day that you have made, a day that we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. We're so thankful for life and for health and for strength. We're thankful for the use and activity of our limbs. We're thankful for soundness of mind and clarity of thought. Uh, we thank you, God, for all that you've done and all that you are going to do. Uh, we thank you, um, God, for this we recall to our mind. Therefore, have we hope it is of your mercy uh, that we have not been consumed because your compassion, it fails not, but it is renewed towards us every single morning. Great is thy faithfulness. You are a faithful God. Uh, to say that you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, uh, to say that you've been more faithful to us than we've been to ourselves, really, really, uh, doesn't need to be said. It is a as a massive understatement. You have been way better to us than we can ever imagine even to be to ourselves. And for that, we tell you, thank you. We can never uh, repay you. We can never thank you enough. We can never appreciate you enough. We can never worship you enough. We can never glorify you enough um, for your consistency and for your faithfulness and for your love that you have shown towards us and you do it over and over and over again. Uh, we thank you um, because you are our source and our strength and you're the very uh, strength of our lives. We, we give you all the glory and all the honor and all of the praise because you are you are you are our everything. We we, we lift you up um, this morning, God, because uh, you are King of Kings and you're Lord of Lords and you're you're Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the ending. You're the you're the first and the last. We we lift you up, God, because you are you are just simply worthy of it. You're worthy of the praise and the the glory and the honor. We we thank you uh, for you are. You are sovereign. Uh, you are absolutely, positively in control of everything. You you don't need to check in with anybody. You don't have to ask anybody for permission to do anything. You don't need anybody to vote on what it is that you're desiring to do. You're God all by yourself, and besides you, there is none other. Uh, the angels join in chorus. They join in unison every single day, and they cry out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts, the whole earth. Um, it's full of his glory and full of his splendor. <clears throat> and for that, God, we, we join in with them. We join in with that heavenly choir and we, we cry out, holy, holy. We cry out um, that you never made a mistake. You're holy, holy. You've never uh, let us down. You're holy, holy. You've never uh, crossed us. You've never done anything that will be categorized or will be labeled as sin or, 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 or handled us wrong or, or done something uh, to, to us. No, God, our, our perspective may be off in the, in the place to where we feel as if we've been wronged or we feel like we've been offended or we feel like you've let us down. That's because of our perspective and because of our view and because of how we look at the matter or look at life. But God, you've never done anything wrong. You are, you're holy all by yourself. You're too holy even to, too, too holy even to look upon sin. You, you're too holy even to look upon wrong. You're too holy even to entertain sin. And, and we thank you for that. And we thank you for, for this, this passion week and this passion week for, for you sent your son into this world and you sent your son into this earth so you can be able to have fellowship with us. That's the reason why he had to come. He had to come because sin separated us from you. That's the reason why he had to come uh, to be able, 1 John 3 and 8 says, to destroy the works of the devil. 
And that's the reason why he came. He came. Uh, he lived. He was. He, he was. He, he, he was died. He was. He was killed and died, and he was buried, and he rose again that third day to be able to destroy um, the works of the enemy. And that this is the reason, the purpose for the Son of God being made manifest. We thank you uh, for sending your Son to destroy the works of the devil. We thank you uh, for sending your Son to be able to to, to tear down uh, that middle wall of partition that stood between us and you. Uh, we thank you uh, for your sending your son, for bringing us into a right relationship with you to where we can come humbly uh, but boldly before the throne of grace and we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. We thank you uh, for being that for us. We thank you uh, for sending your son to be our propitiation for our sin, his his life, um, his death, his his burial. His, it, 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 it pleads you. It, it pleads you. He is our propitiation. We, we thank you uh, for sending forth your son into the earth to where you can be able to have a uh, relationship with us, the way you can be able uh, to walk with us and talk with us. Because again, you're too holy uh, to, to have any kind of intermingling with sin. And we, we thank you for that. We thank you for when you look down at me, you don't see my righteousness. You don't see my life. You don't see uh, my, my, my striving. You don't see my energy and my effort. But no, you see the obedience of Jesus Christ. We thank you. For for you for you even allowing us to be able uh, to be received by you um, vicariously through His righteousness, the where the where we stand complete in Him. He's all of our righteousness. We have no righteousness to brag about. Our righteousness, as Isaiah said, is like filthy rags. The, the right is what we can do. It's still nasty and it's still short. It still comes up short. It still is invalid. It still is impure. It still is unholy. Uh, we don't have any righteousness, but we thank you for you accounting righteousness to our account. Thank you for accrediting righteousness to us. When we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you, 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 you allow his righteousness. Righteousness. You take, you allow us to take on His righteousness, and He takes on our sin. We, 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 we should, we should, we should, we should be bearing, we should be bearing the brunt of our own sin. We should, we should be paying the price of our own sin. For the wages of sin is death. We, we should be bearing our own sin. But no, uh, you, you, we, we, we are, we are recipients, and we are, we have received. The righteousness of, of what it is that he has endured and what it is that he's gone through. And for that, we tell you, thank you. So when you look down at us, you don't see us. You don't see our righteousness. You see the righteousness of Jesus Christ, the righteousness of your dear son. For that, we tell you, thank you. We give you glory this morning. We give you honor for you orchestrating all of this. We, we're not, we're not smart enough even to figure this out. We're not even smart enough even to wrap our minds around, um, the, your, your mighty hand and your, and your, your master the peace and how you've orchestrated this, how you divinely designed to be able to, to have this plan of salvation, to have this plan to where we can be able uh, to be in right standings with you and fellowship with you and magnify you. For that, we tell you, thank you. Thank you uh, for loving us so much the way you did that. Thank you uh, for you loving us enough the way you initiated this plan. The, the, the Paul said in Romans 5 and 8, when we were yet sinners in, in due time, you died for us. You, you still died for the Godly, you still sent forth your son to be able to, to to give his life a ransom for us, even in our sin and even in our mess and even in our mayhem and even when we let you down. We thank you that you still sent your son and you sent your son on our behalf. And God, we're supposed to return the favor uh, because you sent your son to uh, who Hebrews seven twenty five says ever living to make intercession for us. We, we're supposed to in turn supposed to make intercession for others. We're supposed to stand in a gap for others. We're supposed to pray for others. You said in your word that you sought for a man that will make up the head. You sought for a man that was standing in a gap. And, 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 and Ezekiel said, I couldn't find any. But God, this morning, we, we've taken on the mantle of the intercessors. We've taken on the mantle of being the individual that's going to that's gonna stand in the gap and is going to stand in between. And God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus like David had to do uh, whenever it was that, that he sinned and that and the 
death angel was coming and it was killing those thousands and thousands and thousands of people. David prayed um, that, the, that, that where you would stay the hand, you would stay the hand and you will, you will, you will stop the destruction and you will stop uh, the, the onslaught that was going on. And David uh, was a type of intercessor as he was interceding for the people. And God, we, we take on that mantle this morning, God, that we didn't come for a house and we didn't come for a car and we didn't come for a job and we didn't come for cash and clothes and all that. But no, God, we come, God, to because we desire you. We come to you right now in the name of Jesus, God, because we desire for you to move on not only on our behalf, but God, on the behalf of our loved ones. And God, we ask you, God, as we're as we're journeying on the, in this Passion Week and as we as we're consecrating ourselves and we're and we're 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 altering our lives and altering our schedule and altering our eating habits. God, we're doing this for you. And God, we're doing this now, now, so we can also, God, be able to stand in the gap with power and stand in the gap with your anointing. And God, we can be able to 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 infect change in the earth. Thank you, God, that where we can pray in such a way that whatever's going on in heaven, God, they can be able to go on in earth. God, thank you that where we can be able to pray in such a way, God, not that where we earn your, your bonus points or brownie point, but no, God, we can pray in such a way, God, that where we can be able to infect change in the earth. God, we're just, we're just mere mortals. God, we're just mere men. We're just mere women. We can't force anything to change anything. We can barely handle our own selves, let alone, let alone bringing about change in the earth. But God, you said when we pray, God, that we're giving you access. You said when we pray, God, that you, we're giving you divine, we're giving you permission to get involved. We, we're giving the divine to get involved in our lives. And we thank you for that. We asking you, God, we grant you permission and we say you can get involved. And God, we thank you, God, the way you desire to get involved. We thank you that you love us enough to get involved. We thank you that well, you're not just up there somewhere and that's just waiting on us to be able to try to figure things out. But no, God, you said in your word to lean not to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all of our ways and you promise us that you'll direct our path. We thank you, God, that well, we don't got to figure this thing out on our own, but no, God, we can be able to come to you because you said the steps of a good man, they're ordered by you and God, you delight in our way and we thank you for ordering our steps. We thank you, God, for ordering our steps in your word. We thank you, God, for pushing us and wooing us and calling us, God, to be able to get to a place, God, the way you desire for us to be, God, God so you can be active and involved in our lives. For that, we take you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for every person, God, that's a part of this intercession and part of this time of prayer today. And God, we thank you, God, for, for all of these individuals, God, that we're standing in the gap for. And God, these individuals, God, we, I don't personally don't know all these individuals. I personally don't know what all these individuals need, but God, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not for me to know. God, you know what every person needs. God, you know what all of these individuals, God, have, have need of. You know their most pressing needs. You know, uh, whether they need salvation. You know, whether they need healing. You know, whether they need deliverance. You know, God, whether they need uh, a breakthrough. You know, God, if they're in some type of situation that they need to get out of, some of them might be in danger. Some of them might be in an abusive situation. Maybe they've been abused physically or mentally or emotionally. But God, we pray right now with the name of Jesus that you'll dispatch your angels. Whatever these individuals need, God, send forth your angels to them right now in the name of Jesus. As we pray and as we call out their names, God, we bring their names before you. God, like the priest did in the Old Testament, God, he had the bowl of incense God and he brought it before you and it was it was symbolic of the prayers of the saints and God that's what we're doing this morning God as we lift up these names we're not just aimlessly reading names but no God these these names are attached to souls and these names are attached to people and these people are attached to situations and burdens and and and, and incidents and things of that nature God and you know what they need so God as we call out their name we pray God that they'll feel your power as we call out their name we pray God that they'll feel your presence as they call out, as we call out their name, God, that they're involved in something, God, that they should not be involved in. We pray you convict them. We pray, God, as we call out their name, God, that you'll arrest them. We call, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. We call out their name, God. They don't know without a shadow of a doubt, God, that somebody somewhere was praying for them. And God, we pray, God, that they're, if they're in, if they're involved, God, in a lifestyle of sin, if they're involved in a lifestyle away from you, God, and, and counter and contrary, maybe they're in a backslidden space. Maybe they're in a backslidden place. 
backslidden state. And right now in the name of Jesus, God, we pray, God, that you'll call them for. We pray, God, that you'll woo them. We pray, God, that you'll pull them out of the muck and the mire. Maybe some of them may be like the prodigal son and they're in that hall pen and they've gone off into a far country. But as we call out their name, we, we pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you'll, you'll use it like somewhat of a dog whistle. I'm not calling them dogs. I'm just using the illustration. God, it's somewhat of a, of a dog signal when nobody, where, where they can be all around people and nobody else hears the whistle. Uh, but God, they'll hear that whistle. They'll hear that call, a clarion call, a clear call. God, the way you're telling them, God, to get their lives together. You're telling them, God, that the party's over. You're telling them, God, that it's time to turn or burn. You're telling them, God, it's time for them to turn right and keep straight. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God. Again, we're not just aimlessly reading off these names, but God, we connect our faith, God, together. And come on, people of God, I need you to connect with your faith with my faith. I need you to connect your faith to where every name that's called. We believe in God that they're going to be saved. And that we believe in God that they're going to be transfer, transformed. We believe in God that every name that we call, that they won't leave this world and leave this place without knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. We're praying for every name that we call, that they will that they will come in right standings with the Lord Jesus Christ. That they won't live beneath their holy privileges, but all of their purposes and all the things that God has, has put in their heart and in their mind for them to do while they're in it, while they're in the earth and on the earth that they'll they'll do it in the name of Jesus as they call as we call out their name we believe in God going to deliver them from drugs and perversion as we call out their name God going to deliver them from gambling and God going to going to going to going to deliver them for every every vice and every hang up and every habit and any and everything that looks to looks to come up against what it is that God's perfect plan is and God's purpose is and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus so we pray right now in the name of Jesus for Robert Thomas. We pray right now for, for Jay LaFaro. We pray right now in the name of Jesus for Tamil Lynch Payton. Uh, we pray right now in the name of Jesus for Troy Rivers. We call out their names right now in the name of Jesus. If it's salvation they need, if it's deliverance that they need, if it's answers that they need, if it's breakthroughs that they need, if it's healing that they need. Oh, it's done right now in the name of Jesus. It's done. We're interceding. Satan, the Lord rebuke you and the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus be against you. This is what makes this week so powerful because we can we can be able to, to pull on the blood. We can be able to apply the blood, and I apply the blood over 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 Mr. Thomas and and, and Miss Farrell and and Miss Payton and, and 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 Mr. Rivers right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what it is that you're doing and what it is that you've already done. We're praying right now in the name of Jesus that we, we're praying for for for, for every husband uh, right now in the name of Jesus whose wife is sending in sending in their husbands as, as another request say pastor let's pray we're requesting for prayer for my husband uh to be saved and we pray for his salvation right now in the name of jesus we're praying god that you'll say god the holy ghost blood hounds god to get every husband god that where they'll take their rightful place as as a man of god as a priest as a as a provider and the and the protector of the home and not just providing monetarily not just providing financially not just protecting physically oh but no god in the name of jesus we call for of all the men of God and all of the all of our husbands right now in the name of Jesus that they'll be they'll protect when it comes to warring in the spirit they'll protect when it comes to praying for their babies and praying for the family they'll they'll protect when it comes to and provide that spiritual nutrients and that spiritual guidance we call for of every husband right now in the name of Jesus even the ones that know you but it's a little stubborn at times even the ones that know you but a little set in their ways even the ones that know you but just kind of blase blase when it comes to the things of God. We call our kingdom men to rise right now in the name of Jesus. We call our kingdom men to rise in the name of Jesus. And we're praying for every husband, God, that you'll arrest them, God, that they'll be saved, God, that they'll that they'll get to the point, God, that where they'll call on you and they'll say, what must they do to be saved? We're praying for our husbands, God, because we love them, God, and we honor them and we cherish them. We don't want any of them, God, to leave this planet and leave this earth and not know you. So we call forth their names right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, and we don't badger them and we don't complain to them and we don't we don't try to force things down their throat but God I pray for every wife God that that's that's in this turmoil because that's, that's some turmoil I pray for every wife that's in there in this trial because that's a trial who husband doesn't love you who husband does not serve you they may they may they may they may love their wife but they don't love you that is a that is a challenge in that home but I pray for every wife right now in the name of Jesus that you'll give them the anointing that you'll give them the presence God that you'll give them the peace that you'll give them 
everything that they need. God, the way they don't, they don't beat them across the head with the Bible and beat them across the head with the scriptures. But no, they'll be like, they'll be like that, that woman that Peter described in first Peter three, that we'll be able to win our husbands without any words. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, you'll give every wife insight. You'll give every wife uh, wisdom and you'll give every wife, God, uh, uh, the ability to be able to season their words, God, and to taste their words before they say them. And God, their words will only minister grace and their, their, their words will only minister health and healing and, and encouragement. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We're praying uh, for every child uh, right now in the name of Jesus, LaQuinta and, 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 and Lorraine and, 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 and Latina, uh, Latina and, and Tyreek right now in the name of Jesus. And God, if I'm mispronouncing it, God, I pray God that you will intervene and you'll, uh, you, you know exactly the name we're calling on. You know exactly the individuals we're calling that we're praying for. So we pray for the children of this woman of God right now in the name of Jesus that you that you will save every single one of their children, every single one of our children right now in the name of Jesus that you that they'll be in the right standings with you. We call on your name right now in the name of Jesus and we intercede for them and we call on them God man, as you as you allow them God to get to a place God that whatever's been deposited in them what has been what has been prayed over them God it'll come to manifestation it will come to fruition right now in the name of Jesus God they may be living uh, in, in a particular way that's beneath God what it is that you call for them. But God, we pray in the name of Jesus that everything that's been put down on the inside of them, God, it'll come to the, it'll come to the surface, God. It'll come to the top. And God, you'll, you will cause them, God, to love you and to fall madly in love with you. I know it's the prayers of my mother, God, that got me into the kingdom. I know it's the seeds that were sold from my grandparents. Oh, they got me into the kingdom. I know there's my aunts and my uncles that was on the wall and that was praying and they had, and they sold seeds and, and it became a generational thing. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus for every every child that we have, every grown child, every young child, every young adult, every teenager, that you will intervene and you'll touch our children right now in the name of Jesus and they'll know you in a real way. God, that they'll follow you in a real way. God, that they'll honor you in a real way, God. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus because you're saving our babies even now. You're, you're doing it in their minds right now. You're doing it in their hearts even right now. And we thank you for it in Jesus. Jesus name all of our children and all of our grandchildren and all of our nieces and all of our nephews thank you uh, for the deliverance God that's coming forth thank you for the salvation that's coming forth thank you for the change that's coming forth in the name of Jesus and it is done and it is done in Jesus name we pray right now in the name of Jesus uh, for all of the children of this woman of God. We pray for Lonnie Jr. And we pray for Sheena. We pray for Lakeisha. We pray for Rashawn. We pray for Anaya. We pray for Adrian. And we pray for Andre. And we pray for Chantel right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for all of the individuals of this woman of God, all their children and all their grandchildren. This woman of God says she got 16 grandchildren. And we're praying right now in the name of Jesus. She'll save all of these children. And you you save all those grandchildren right now in the name of Jesus. We don't want any of them to leave this planet without knowing you. We don't want any of them, God, to leave this leave this earth, God, without, without, without you being their savior. And we cover our children right now in the name of Jesus and our grandchildren. Maybe they're out there and they're doing their thing. But we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you'll have a hedge of protection around them. We pray in the name of Jesus that you'll, that you'll encamp your angels about them, God, that when they're in places they shouldn't be and when they're doing things they shouldn't be doing, that God, you will be with them, God, and, yet, and they won't even know it, but God, we pray, God, that no, uh, that they won't be at the wrong place at the wrong time, that where it won't be a, a shoot-off, and it won't be a drive-by, and it don't be, and they don't drink nothing they don't supposed to drink, or they don't, uh, or somebody don't lace something, and they smoking, and all that stuff, but we pray that you'll keep their mind, and we pray, God, that you'll keep their bodies, we pray, God, that you'll just be with them in the name of Jesus, and God, that we know they're working on their testimony, as one woman of God say, but God, we want them to to know you in a real and a fresh way in the name of Jesus. And we pray uh, that this woman of God said that, that many of them uh, or, or some of them are struggling. Some of them are struggling with alcohol. And we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we know we know that when that alcohol gets introduced to a bloodline, we know that that can become a generational curse just like many other things. And, and it just can continue just to go and to go and to go and to go through the family. And I don't know the details, but God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus to the one that does know the details. And I pray God that you'll deliver uh, that, that the 
individual individuals that are struggling with alcoholism in this particular family. We pray, God, that you'll deliver them right now in the name of Jesus. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll take the taste out of their mouth. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, if you got to make them sick, if you got to do whatever you got to do, God, to get them to a place where it makes them sick to their stomach and, and it makes them just uh, makes them just where they can't even function. And, and God, do whatever you got to do, God. We, not, we don't want no harm to come upon them. We don't want any, any unnecessary pain to come upon them. But whatever it is you got to do, God, to, to get this, this, this destructive spirit, God, off of them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you'll, that you'll do it right now. I know you did it for my father that, that, that was a, uh, that was an alcoholic for years and just uh, drunk himself every day and every night, every, 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 every night, rather, every night he would drink and every night and every night. But God, you got a hold of him in his latter years. And God, you caused him, God, to be able to put it down and to walk away from it. And God, I know that you're able to do that for anybody because I've seen it with my own eyes. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will deliver every person, God, and not just alcoholism, because I'm sure that there's other things in, in all of our, in all the families that's representing it on this call and all of our families, God. Maybe it's drugs and maybe, maybe it's uh, homosexuality. Maybe it's lesbianism. Maybe, maybe it's, it's a financial curse and maybe it's a financial stronghold. Uh, maybe it's pride or the arrogance or, or, or whatever it may be. Maybe it's gambling. Maybe it's, maybe it's trying to be a thug and trying to be a gangbang and all this stuff, God, whatever the curse is that's hovering over our families and hovering over our houses. Oh, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. And we, and we pray over our families and we pray over our bloodlines and we pray over every person that, that, that looks like us and every person that's a part of our family that they will not succumb to whatever vice. They will not succumb to whatever stronghold, but we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll set them free. We pray God for, 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 for Miss Kimbrough. We pray for, for Reginald Johnson. We pray for Lakeisha Johnson. We pray for Jakeisha Williams. We pray for Marion Johnson Jr. And we pray for J for J for Javier uh, Williams. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for these individuals, name by name, circumstance by circumstance. We pray God that you will intervene, and we pray God that you will that you will sh that you will show forth your hand in a strong way, in a mighty way. We pray for Tabitha Battle, and we pray for Dwayne Eason, and we pray for Danielle Stevens, and we pray for Laura Griffin, and we pray for Jasmine Johnson, and we pray for Anthony 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 Patino. We pray for Courtney Prince uh, Price, rather, right now in the name of Jesus, that you will cover all of these individuals, and you'll be with them, God, as only you can, God, because you are you are their source, and you are their strength, God, and you're their everything. We're calling out their name, God. I know the alarms in hell are going off, God, because we're calling out the names of these individuals, and God, we're bringing them before for you. This is what Passion Week is about. This is what the death of Christ is about. That where God, you're giving us access to where we can just come to you and not beg for stuff. We're not begging for things. We're not begging for, for you to for you to give us a, a million dollar bag. No, we're, we're begging you and we're beseeching you. We're calling on you. God, that every name that comes up before you, God, that they will be saved and they will be delivered and God, they will be set free. We pray for Shay and we pray for Nay. We pray for Tristan and we pray for for Mark, 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 for May Makari, Makari, thank you for the breakdown. We thank you for Alina. Uh, we thank you for the Patterson family, the Peterson family, rather, and the Walker family, and the Flowers family, and the Ford family, and the Rogers family. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for all of these individuals. God, the way you will intervene and God, you will help and you will assist. And God, you know what they need, God. You know what, you know when they need it and you know how much of it that they need. And we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Miss, Miss Rudy, Miss Rudy Jones. And we're praying, God, the way you will, you will, you will help God. You will help her in the area, God, the way she needs you the most. And when it comes to her health, we ask you to intervene. We ask you, God, to help. We ask you, God, to do what only you do right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, to the way you, where where you'll show up for her, God, in a real way, in a in a, in a passionate way, and in a in a, in a in a tangible way, rather, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know that you're doing it. We thank you, God, because we know, God, that you that you are that you are our source and our strength. We thank you, God, because you're the strength of our life. We thank you for the Artie family. We thank you for the Powells, and we thank you for the Page family. We thank you for the Coleyers and the Parkers. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we call on your name, God, because we know, God, that you're able to do anything. 
anything but fail. We think we call on your name, God, because we know that you're able to, to, to intervene and you're able to, 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 to intercept. You're able, God, to, to, to cancel, God, every assignment of the enemy, everything that the enemy try to set up, to try to do and try to kill, to try to steal and try to destroy. We thank you, God, because you're able, God, to be able to step in, God, like never before. And we're not going to blame it on energy. We're not going to blame it on karma. We're not going to blame it on the universe. We're not going to blame it on, on all that stuff. But no, God, we're going to blame it on you, God, because we know, God, that you are the healer. And we know that you are the deliverer. We pray, God, for, for the family, God, that lost a, 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 a granddaughter that, that drowned in the pool in Clay County. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will intervene and you will help and you will assist in that. God, I can't imagine. Imagine uh, losing any one of my babies, God. And I pray that you'll strengthen that family and you'll strengthen those parents and you'll strengthen those grandparents and you'll strengthen every person that's connected to that situation, God, the way you will, the way you will heal them, God, and you'll hold them, God, and you'll be with them. And God, that they will not allow this, they will not allow this situation to cause them, God, to get to a place, God, the way they don't serve you and they don't honor you. But right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll, that you'll use this, use this situation and pull them closer to you, that they don't have anywhere else to go. They don't have nowhere else to turn, but God, they're coming to you. We're praying, God, we're, we're, we're praying that, that you'll, that you'll, that you'll save, God, every family member that's backslidden, God. We're praying for, 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 for every person that's in the Lamar family, God, that where you will touch and you will strengthen and you will heal. And you know the ones, God, that are wayward and you know the ones that are backed up and you know the ones, all of us got them in our family. They know better, God. They, they, they know the word, God. They've been around the things of God, but they're backslidden in their heart and in their mind. We call them for, and God, we pull them forth right now in the name of Jesus. We pray uh, for, for Brother brother Simmons, and we pray for Sister Odom right now in the name of Jesus. That you'll touch them, and you'll strengthen them, God, and you know what we need that intervention for. You know, God, how you got to do what you got to do, God, because it's beyond our control. It's too big for us. It's too heavy for us. We cannot do it, and we thank you, God, for every person, God, and every name that we've called out, and every situation right now. We, come, we didn't come, God, again, we didn't come to ask you for anything for us. We came like that Canaanite woman today. They came before you, God, for their daughter. We we came like that, like that nobleman that came and, and had a six had a six son. And we came, we come as that other official that came that had a six servant. We came as that brother that came and ran into your disciples and they said, Lord, I got your disciples to pray for my son, but he he, he they, they, they they couldn't do it. And he's and the Lord said, Well, do you believe? He said, Lord, help my unbelief. We we come to you. Um, God, like Jairus came for, on behalf of you for his daughter. We're coming on behalf of our family and our friends, and maybe we didn't send in any names. Maybe we didn't send in send in an email. But God, you know every family that's represented. You know every every person in our family that needs salvation. You know every person in our family, God, that, that's backslidden. You know every person, God, that needs your divine interruption. And we pray, God, that you'll get a hold of them, God, like never before. We pray, God, that you'll touch them like never before. We pray, God, that you'll do what only you can do right now in the name of Jesus and all of our family. God, that you will show up, God, and you'll be real in a fresh way, mentally, God, if we need you mentally. The enemy tries to attack us mentally in our families and su with suicide and with and with, with with dementia and with Alzheimer's, God, and with and with schizophrenia and all these different things and this PTSD and all that. But God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll touch our families right now in the name of Jesus. Emotionally, God, our families deal with emotional pain, emotional trauma, maybe because of this and because of that. Uh, but God, we thank you, God, that you're healing us from that and the financial strongholds that, that loom over our families, God, that, that, that we never had and we never had any money. Nobody ever had anything. Oh, but God, we break that old poverty mentality and that old poverty spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that where you're you're intervening, God, and you're healing and you're strengthening, and you're doing what only you can do, God. A spiritual a lack, God, and spiritual maybe there's a spiritual hole, God, in our families, God. That many individuals don't know you; they're not saved; they don't love you, God. They 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 fall or they're falling away from the things of God. We pray that you intervene, God. Whatever our family need, whatever our children need, whatever our grandchildren need, we thank you, God, because you are the common denominator. You are the one that's able to do exceeding abundant 
the live of all we can ever ask or think. We thank you, God, for our natural families, and we thank you for our spiritual family, Truth and Love Ministries. We pray, God, that you'll continue to allow the vision to unfold in our local church. We pray, God, that you'll continue to do what you do, God, in our marriages and in our singleness. We thank you for you to continue to do what you do, God, that we'll continue to impact and engage, and we thank you for the souls that's going to be coming, and the souls that's going to be changed, and the lives is going to be changed, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We we glorify you this morning. We magnify you this morning, God, because you said in your word, oh God, that, you, that we have a confidence in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said that we can have it. And God, we praise your will and we praise your word, God, and we've interceded for individuals and we know, God, it is your will and we know it is your plan. And as I pray for others, God, and as I've interceded for others, God, I pray and intercede for my family. I pray for my wife, uh, Lady Camilla Nesbitt. I pray and I ask you to touch her and strengthen her. I ask you to be with her as only you can. I pray for I pray for Shari and Kendall and Carson and C4. I pray, God, that you'll be with all of my babies and all of my children, not just my children, my siblings, God, and my my my, my nieces and my nephews, God, and my, my uncles and my aunts, God, and every every person that's connected to me, whether they're blood or not. God, if I consider them family, I pray that you'll be with them and strengthen them, and God, do what only you can. Uh, but I thank you in advance, because I know, God, that you've heard every single name, and you've heard every single request today. And we thank you, God, because we're going to continue to run on just so we we'll see what the end going to be. And we thank you in advance. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. Ooh, well, I thank God for you, Truth and Love Nation. Man, we got to put our faith. We're going to put our faith on these prayers. We're putting our faith on these names. We're putting our faith on all every single person whose name we've called out. We believe in God the way you will, um, the way you, what, what, what God, you will physically see, um, how God has, is, is intervening on the fact that because we're praying for our family, we just can't sit by and, and, and watch our family members go to hell. And, and after, after we've said what we've got to say and after we've talked to them and all of that, at some point we just got to, we got to, we got to pull on the heavy guns and pull on the artillery. And that means it's praying for them. And praying for him consistently and faithfully over and over and over and over again. Pray for my daddy for years. And I'm sure, I'm sure my siblings did as well. And my aunt did as well. I pray for my daddy every day. Every prayer I prayed, that was the type of a personal prayer. I would always intervene and interject rather, uh, Lord save my daddy <laughs> every single day. And Lord did that and, and God honored that. And so, uh, we got to continue to pray for our family and our loved ones. So I thank God for you. I love you. I ask you to um, post on group me, man, and let folk know that, man, we're we calling out fire. Um, we're going to be here again on tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We're going to be praying again and bombarding heaven again. So um, make sure that you stay locked and loaded what we got going on in the ministry today and what we got going on tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow night we got service at 7 p.m., our Good Friday service, and we're so excited about it. So I love y'all. I thank God for you. I pray you have a blessed and a fantastic day on purpose. Peace out. I'll see you soon. Here come to church. Bye-bye.